The concept of two versions of God is an intriguing topic that often arises from the, a perceived difference between the portrayal of God in the Old Testament and the New Testament of the Bible. Some people argue that there is a contrast between the two, leading to the idea that there are two different versions of God in the Scriptures. Let's explore this concept more deeply while also understanding the theological continuity between the Testaments. God in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, God is often depicted as a powerful, just, and sometimes wrathful being. He is the creator of the universe who establishes laws, demands obedience, and enforces justice. Stories like the flood during Noah's time, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the plagues of Egypt in the book of Exodus are frequently cited as examples of God's judgment and wrath against sin and disobedience. However, it's important to recognize that God's actions in the Old Testament are deeply rooted in His holiness and justice. His judgments are not arbitrary. They are responses to human sin, rebellion, and idolatry. For instance, in the covenant with Israel, God repeatedly demonstrates His patience and mercy by giving them chances to repent. The entire narrative of the Old Testament is not just about God's wrath but also about His steadfast love, mercy, and faithfulness to His people. The prophets, such as Isaiah and Hosea, speak extensively about God's love, compassion, and desire for His people to return to Him. God in the New Testament, in the New Testament, God is most fully revealed in the person of Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, the nature of God as loving, merciful, and forgiving is emphasized. Jesus' teachings about loving one's enemies, turning the other cheek, and the parable of the prodigal son all highlight God's boundless love and grace. The ultimate expression of this love is seen in the crucifixion, where Jesus sacrifices himself for the sins of humanity. However, the New Testament does not present a God who is indifferent to sin. The same Jesus who healed the sick and forgave sinners also spoke about judgment for example, the parable of the sheep and the goats in Matthew 25 warned about the consequences of rejecting God's kingdom and cleansed the temple of corruption. The New Testament's depiction of God's love is balanced with His righteousness and the reality of final judgment. Reconciling the two versions, the perception of two different versions of God, one of wrath and one of love, stems from focusing on certain aspects of God's character while overlooking others. The Bible presents God as both just and loving in both Testaments. In the Old Testament, God's justice often takes center stage, but His mercy and love are always present. In the New Testament, God's love is highlighted, but His justice remains a crucial aspect of His nature. The continuity between the Old and New Testaments is rooted in the concept of covenant. God's covenant with Israel in the Old Testament is fulfilled and expanded in the New Testament through Jesus Christ. The God who judges sin in the Old Testament is the same God who provides a means of salvation in the New Testament. The cross is where God's justice and love meet. Sin is judged and forgiveness is offered. Conclusion Rather than seeing two distinct versions of God, it is more accurate to understand the Bible as revealing the multifaceted nature of the one true God. God is both holy and loving, just and merciful. The apparent differences between the portrayals of God in the Old and New Testaments reflect different aspects of His character and the unfolding of His redemptive plan for humanity. By embracing the full biblical narrative, we can appreciate the richness of God's character as revealed in Scripture a God who is consistent in His justice and love, who desires a relationship with His creation, and who provides a way for that relationship to be restored through Jesus Christ.